It only took two minutes to deliver, but this speech, given by Abraham Lincoln, is considered one of the greatest of all time. But why was it so special? Well, in the 1800s, America had a lot fewer states than today. In the northern states, more people lived in the cities and made their money making and building things. But in the southern states, more people lived on farms and made their money by growing things. A lot of people were needed to work, grow, and gather the crops. Many of them were enslaved. Over time, slavery became a hotly debated issue. The arguments only grew more intense after Abraham Lincoln, who disliked the practice of slavery, was elected president in 1860. Not long after Mr. Lincoln got to the White House, a group of southern states decided to leave or secede from the United States. They wanted to form their own country where slavery would be allowed. President Lincoln did not want this to happen, so the North went to war with the South to keep the country together. This was the beginning of the United States Civil War. During the Civil War, many people died in many horrible battles. One important battle took place at Gettysburg, a town in the state of Pennsylvania. So many soldiers died there, it was decided to bury them on the battlefield, creating a special cemetery for them. President Lincoln was invited to give a speech, also known as an address. It was called the Gettysburg Address. In it, he honored the thousands who died in the battle and reminded the people listening what they were fighting for. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we shall do this. Abraham Lincoln reminded the crowd that the United States had been founded on the ideals of liberty and equality, and that they should honor the dead soldiers by carrying on their fight to bring the nation back together. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here, that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. At the time, President Lincoln did not think as much of his speech as we do today. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, he said. But he was wrong. The Gettysburg Address is considered to be one of the greatest speeches in American history. <laughs> <laughs>